All right. So if you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you for tuning in to the Katie Talk One on One show. If you see what I am about to talk about is messy, 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 the Armand Wiggins show. So I guess, you know, Armand Wiggins, he out here playing, um, I guess he playing chess now. At first he was playing checkers, but he reached out to Ra Ali, former co-host Richard. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with the situation that went on with Richard and all of that, but just go back and look at um, my radio last show that she did and she will tell you to run down on that. So it was some situations went on with them. And Armand, I guess, reached out to Richard to have a sit down with him. And I was just thinking to myself, thinking about the video that Armand ended up deleting when he was talking about the barbs uh, and all it is. And he was talking about he don't know. He's feeling like he's been slided when it comes to certain positions, certain situations and opportunities. But you wonder why Armand. Armand, when it comes to a big blogger platform similar to um, Queen Radio, like Nicki Minaj, she would never, she would never have you on because you're way too messy, Armand. Look what you are doing just because you feel like Millie at my radio is big competition for you. So you like, you pull one card, you pull one card, that don't work. So you're trying to pull this one, but your bad works that you are doing towards her you trying to disparage her in some type of way it's not gonna work at the end of the day the real always bubble up and rise to the top you will see and i remember that video that you deleted i do have a little snippet i'm gonna show it to you and this is fair use it is fair use and it's just an example of showing and teaching our mind why Someone in a very big position would think twice and think three times before calling you in for a position. It's like the stuff that you're doing, you're missing up future opportunities for you. And you are a very, very, very talented person. But your the 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 heart that you have and the malice that you carry in your heart will stop you from achieving certain endeavors that you could deserve. But you guys, I'm going to let you listen to this little sneak peek. It's from the video that he did delete, but I did manage to get a little small portion. And this is for fair use, covered by Section 17107 of 1976. So please take a listen to this, where our mind feels like he is entitled to be up under Nikki. I'm going to go under here. Highlight some things because you know I was rocking with her, it was cool, whatever, whatever, whatever. Not cool like that, but you know, she was supporting me. I support who supports me. So I've never, even in my um, criticism of her, I never say that she's, I've never said that she's not the greatest female rapper of all time. I've always said that. And I want to get into, I want to, I want to break something else down. Okay. What I've always said was I don't agree with her personal life. So when people would ask me about her personal life, I wouldn't talk about it because I'm like, girl, Nikki follows me. We, I don't want, she probably don't want to see that stuff. And this, that, but then it started coming to a head. So then I was like, you know what? Let me give my opinion. I really don't want to. But then when I gave my opinion on her personal life, not the music, I never really want to do, she got in her feelings and she didn't follow me because I didn't agree with it. So that's when I had to lose a little bit of respect. Like, okay. If, I, if I'm not kissing her ass, she got upset. Oh, let me remind you, you said that too. Let me show you pretty much the same thing that you said. So I agree with you. She unfollowed me. So then I was like, all right, well, girl, I don't have any loyalty to, the, to that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have, at this point, girl, I was just giving my opinion, and you felt some type of way about that, but I've never discredited your rap. Actually, for me to have a radio show and you to have a panhandle radio show, um, and you don't even get paid, so you don't even have no excuse, if she got a panhandle show, Armand, why are you so pressed? If you feel like you got competition up against a panhandle show, take a look at yourself. I'm going to let this continue. Bitch, I play Nikki, Nikki music on my platform, and I, actually, and I actually make money on this motherfucker. And, bitch, and I, get, and I, and I risk getting my shit snapped. 
if you making money on this, why are you so pressed about someone who not? Down to play Nikki records. When have you ever heard that bitch even recite a Nikki verse? A Nikki rap, a Nikki rap. And I do it almost daily on my channel. Y'all know, y'all watch my music show. You got a whole... Okay, so I'm going to stop that right there just in case, you know, he may talk about something about a copyright. So that was just for teaching purposes about the video that I am talking about. So I'm going to go back to this one. So what you titled this, we are about to get into some things. Ra Ali co-host speaks out and baby, we about to get into some things. It's messy, messy. Okay, so you was just saying in that other clip, Armand, that uh, she don't even get paid from this. She don't even get paid from that. She don't get paid from that. It seemed like you got your feathers ruffled up for somebody that's so-called on this platform not getting paid. Then why are you so intimidated, Armand? Why are you so pressed and salty, Armand? You pressed and salty like some pressed ham, like pork. Come on now. You want us to believe that you're not pressed. She not getting paid and you should not be intimidated. But you you steady out here trying to play these games, these checkers and chess. And then, hell, sometimes you play domino. You just trying to score six. Come on, Armand. Man, I swear, when I first started doing this some months ago, I look up to you. Like, looking at two... Two bigger YouTubers going through this. Sometimes it disappoint me, but Armand, it seems like it's just coming from you. Like, man, maybe Storm Monroe had a point when he said, you just need some love. But you guys, drop down in them comments. Let me know what you think about this. And you better believe I'm going to be tuned in to the little messy stuff. I want to see what Armand got to say. I want to see what Richard got to say. You guys, drop your comments down below. And let me know what you think about this messy, messy situation. Until next time, hit that subscribe button, tap that like, comment, and just stay within uh, YouTube grounds. But please speak your mind. Shout out to my radio. Millie, keep your head up, girl. Everything going to be all right. God got you, honey. And we know your heart pure. Till next time.